flat in Baton Rouge Now I'm so waiting on a train And I was feeling near as faded as my jeans Papa thumbed a decent down Just before it rained I'm going to jig out the notches here for our firebox. It's going to be the bottom. In the back of the cabinet that we've installed so that we can uh, so that we can fireproof that area up. Because all the electricity is going to be running. So it needs to be fireproof. So we're just going to take these little edges off. And then we're going to go stick it in. Let's go put it in. So once we've got it in here, we're gonna scribe a circle around here. That's gonna so it's gonna slide around the the electrical service that's coming in. And then we're gonna go. Through. So I'm gonna use a two-inch hole saw and just just kind of bore through there. That'll take care of it. I don't have to jig it out. It'll be nice, perfectly round. And I think that's the best way to do it. We'll just slide it in here and the perfect fit. Hammer. Yeah, that looks perfect. It's going to fit perfect. Tap it in just a touch. All right, so that's the bottom. That's it from the side. You see, we've got it going up in here. And we're gonna run. So we're gonna run our two by four up here. And when I say um, when I say two by four, what I mean is our uh, our little cut uh, piece that we're gonna attach our frame to. It's it's our frame that we're gonna attach everything to. So that'll all attach. Everything will be attached. So let's take this outside so we can use it as a template. All right, so have a look here. What we're gonna do with this piece of wood is we're gonna take it, we're gonna glue it, and then we're gonna screw it, and it's gonna get super tight, become super structurally sound, and uh, we're gonna kerf right here so that it will bend and and, uh, and match that slope on each edge. So just mark it, and then we'll, uh, we'll head over and we'll cut it. 
curved in the center there so when I press on it it'll fill in correctly it won't warp or, or snap or So what I've done is I've cut this little piece and curved it so that we can bend it to fill in that upper, this upper edge right here. We want to be able to follow that radius up to the top there so we can attach our plywood wall to it. All right, so let's talk about what I got finished today. Uh, pretty happy about it. We, uh, we got the beginnings of the firebox installed. Um, put the, the top in, cut it full length, curved those boards, and uh, so that we can attach those there. We got this piece in, curved this here so that it would meet in the middle. And we got this back end in, and a hole cut, and then we've got it airtight now. And then so the next step that we've got to do here is we're going to cover this and the roof with metal, um, stainless steel, all the way around. And then when this closes up, it will be a fireproofed container. Then from there, we'll punch through the top here, up into this, and then through up into here. And then we'll be able to run our wiring everywhere we need to go in the in the bus. As well as that, we're going to come up through here with with wiring to take care of that. So our water pumps, tanks, uh, any other remaining kind of uh, stuff that we need, just come up here. It'll punch through here with a fire wall fitting. And then inside of a metal box, it will be uh, ready to go. I'm pretty excited. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be great. Also, got some of the spray foam shit out today. Took care of the window, and then um, in this rounded edged board that we put in here, it's one of the last finishing steps we'll do. Is we'll we'll um, put we'll fill this in and then sand it out. So it's nice, and then we'll cover it with our, with our textured paper. But I've drilled little spots here and have filled it with, with spray foam to give us some extra insulation. Um, as you can see here, this is where we did the kerfing so that we could put it in there. So the reason that I put this foam insulation in behind here is so that I won't have a problem with condensation in this in this gap area as you know that's a place because of the metal frame the frame wants to bleed through and then condensate on the inside so we're sealing that off and it'll also protect us from heat and cold in the winter so firebox is in curved boards done this thing doesn't make any noise or move at all anymore if you, if you look I mean, and as soon as the top's attached and the bottom's attached this thing will be completely silent rolling down the road so that's that. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna try and get this console built, custom built for my new, for all my new gauges, dials, and and uh, 
uh, rear view cameras and all the fun stuff that's going to go into the cockpit. I kind of want it to be designed like um, Star Trek, so that when you get in, it's like you're like Zulu. Flying the, the Enterprise, so that. Good was easy, low, and old awesome. Feeling good was good.